Good day, Batang IS. So, good morning. So, this will be the solution for our activity. So, for number one, we have the, we have the quantity of A plus 5 squared. So, this will be the squared of a binomial. So, first, let us have the squared of the first term. So, we have a squared. Then, square the twice the product of the first term and second term. So, plus 2 times the first term times the second term. Then, for the last term or the third term we have is squared the second term. So, we have 5 squared. So, let us simplify. So, a squared is equal to a squared plus 2 times a times 5 is 10a plus what is 5 squared? We have 25. Therefore, this will be the simplify answer for number 1. So, for number 2, we have the quantity of 3xy minus 7 squared is an uh, example of the squared of a binomial. So we have squared the first term, so 3xy, we're going to square it, then plus twice the product of the first term, 3xy, times the second term, negative 7. And for the third term, twice, square the second term. Okay. So, let us simplify. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. X squared is equal to X squared. Y squared is equal to Y squared. Plus, 3 times 2 times negative 7 is equal to negative 42 x y then plus negative 7 squared is equal to 49 so this is not yet the final answer so let us have multiply the the sign of positive times the negative it, it becomes negative Therefore, our middle term, so we have 9x squared y squared minus 42xy plus 49. Therefore, this will be our final answer. Okay, next for number 3, we have 2x squared minus 4y squared. So again, it is a squared of a binomial. So first thing to do, square the first term. So, we have 2x squared, then square down po. Then, plus twice the product of the first term times the second term. Plus, squared the last term or the second term in the given binomial, 4y squared. Now, let us simplify so, we have 2 squared is equal to 4. Then, x squared is equal to 4 because multiply the exponent. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Next, 2 times 2 is 4 times negative 4 is equal to negative 16. Then, x squared times y squared is equal to x squared y. Plus, squared of negative 4 is positive 16. Then, y squared is equal to y squared. Therefore, this will be the final answer. For number 4, we have 2x plus 3y plus 5 squared. Therefore, this is an example of a squared of a trinomial. So, let us have. So, first to do is let us get the squared of the first term. So, 2x squared plus squared the second term. So, 3y squared plus squared the third term. 
for the fourth, fifth, and sixth, twice the product of the first term and second term, twice the product of the first term and the third term, then plus twice the product of the second term and the third term. So let us have the fourth term. So we have twice the product of the first term, 2x, times the second term, 3y, plus twice the product for the fifth term. So we have 2x plus the third term, 5, plus for our sixth term, so twice the product of the second term, 3y plus the third term, 5. Okay. Now, let us simplify. So, 2x squared is equal to 4x squared plus squared of 3y. So, we have 9y squared plus squared of 5. So, we have 25. Then, next is 2 times 2 times 3 is equal to 12. So, we have 12xy. Plus 2 times 2 times 5, so we have 20x. Then, the last one we have 2 times 3 is 6 times 5 is 30y. So this will be our answer for number 4. For number 5, we have 3a minus 2b plus c squared. So we have squared the first term, so 3a squared plus squared the second term, so negative 2b squared, plus squared the third term, c squared, fourth term twice the product of the first term, 3a, times the second term, 2b, plus twice the product of the first term, times the third term C, plus twice the product of second term 2B times C. Now, let us simplify. So, 3A squared is equal to 9A squared plus negative 2B squared is equal to 4B squared plus C squared so, we have, for the fourth term, so we have negative 2b times 2 times 3a. So, it becomes negative 12ab plus for the fifth term, so 2 times 3 is 6ac. And for the sixth term, we have 2 times negative 2, it becomes negative 4. Therefore, it becomes negative negative. 4 B C and this will be our final answer. So for number 6 we have four, the quantity of 4x plus 2 times 4x minus 2. So square the first term so 4x squared then square the second term so squared 2 then have a minus sign between the two squared express the two into different okay pa. so we have 4x squared is equal to 16x squared minus squared of 2 is 4 therefore this will be our final answer for number 7 we have 3xy minus abc times 3xy plus abc so let us have squared the first term so 3xy squared then the second term a b c squared then put a difference between the two squared then let us express this two in simplest form so 3x squared squared 3xy squared is 9x squared y squared minus a b c squared is a squared b squared c squared. 
And this will be our final answer. For number 8, so we have x squared plus 4y squared times the quantity of x squared minus 4y squared. So again, this is an example of uh, multiplying two binomial, which is in conjugate pairs. Okay, so the product of the conjugate pairs. So let us proceed. So square the first term. So x squared squared. Square the second term. 4y squared squared. Then put a different sign or minus sign between the two squared. Then let us express this two. So we have x raised to the fourth power minus 16y to the fourth Power. And this will be our final answer. So for number 9, we have the quantity of 2 plus x minus 1 times the quantity of 2 minus x minus 1. So our first term here is 2. Then our second term have a given binomial, which is x minus 1. So let us square the first term. So 2 squared. Then square the second term. x minus 1 squared then put a minus sign here now let us proceed in simplifying so 2 squared is 4 minus x minus 1 squared this is uh, an example of a squared of by binomial so let, let us square this one so x squared plus twice the product of the first term and the second term so 2x times negative 1 plus the squared of the second term okay now let us have the sim most simplify so 4 minus x squared plus sorry it becomes minus because 2 times negative 1 is negative okay so we have minus 2x plus 1 and therefore, combining like terms, so we have 4 minus x squared plus 2x minus 1, it is equal to negative x squared plus 2x, 4 minus 1 is positive 3. Take note, if we have the uh, given expression, then our first term is negative. Always multiply the whole expression by negative sign. So let us multiply this one by negative 1. Okay. So negative 1 times the whole term. So it becomes x squared minus 2x minus 3. And this will be our final answer. Okay, let us proceed to the next one. So we have the quantity of 2x plus 2 cube. So this will be a cube of binomial. So let us have first is get the cube of the first term. So 2x cube plus thrice the product of the squared of the first term. So 2x squared times the second term, 2, plus, tries the product of the first term, 2x, times the squared of the second term, plus the cube of the second term, so 2 cube. Now, so we have 2 cube is equal to 8x cube plus 3 so, 2x squared is equal to 4x squared. Therefore, 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24. Therefore, we have 24x squared. Then, next, we have 2 times squared of 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 3 is 24 also. So, we have 24x plus cube of is 8. Therefore, this will be our final answer in this number. Okay, so we have the next one, x squared minus 3 cube. So, first to do is get the cube of the first term. 
So, x squared cube. So, plus, raise the product of the first term. So, 3x squared squared times negative 3. Plus, raise the product of the first term, 3x squared then the squared of the second term plus the cube of the last term. Okay. Next, simplify. So, x squared cube is equal to x raised to the 6th power. Just multiply the exponent because it is power by power. Plus, so, we have 3. x squared squared is equal to 4. Uh, 4. So, we have x raised to the fourth power. So, we have 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 9x to the fourth power. Then, negative 3 squared is equal to 9. 9 times 3 is positive 27x squared. The cube of negative 3 is negative 27 Therefore, this will be our final answer for this number. So next, we have 2x plus 5 cubed. So let us solve. So first thing to do is cube the first term. 2x cubed plus twice the product of the first term squared of the first term times the second term plus twice the product of the first term then squared the second term plus cube of 5. Okay, next, simplify. So we have 8x cubed plus 4, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So 60x squared Plus 3 times 2 is 6 times 5 is 30x. Plus 5 cubed is equal to 125. Okay, and this will be our answer. The next one is an example of a product of binomial and trinomial. So the given trinomial in this, in this pivot is an example of a perfect square trinomial, okay? So, therefore, let us focus in the given binomial. So, we have 2x minus 4. Then, let us have the cube of the first term of the given binomial. 2x cube. Then, cube of the second term of the binomial. 4 cube. Then, copy the sign of the given binomial minus. So, we have, what is the cube of? Two, we have 8x cubed minus the cube of 4 is 64. Therefore, this will be our final answer in this number. So the next number, we have the product of a binomial and a trinomial. So y plus 1 times the quantity of y squared minus 1 plus 1. So get the cube root, the cube of y. Then the cube of the second term of the binomial, 1. Then copy the sign, we have plus. So y cube plus 1. And this will be our final answer. So the next one, and this will be the last number. So we have 3x minus 4 times the trinomial 9x squared plus 12x plus 16. So we have the pattern again. Just get the cube of the first term of the given binomial. 3x cube, then cube of the second term, negative 4 cube. Okay? So, next, uh, 3x cube, so we have 27x cube, then negative 4 cube is negative 64 cube, and this will be negative 60. Four, and that will be our final answer. So th that will be the whole solution for our activity. Thank you. 
we are done, Batang IS. I hope you learn and you enjoy while watching this video. Thank you. Goodbye. Again, I am Miss Marmar Efrigalan, your teacher in Mathematics 8.